Hi, welcome to the Crazy Talk Animator tutorial on basic puppet animation. I'll start off by explaining the three types of animation. The section titled Motion contains preset animations that you can apply to your character by simply double clicking. However, this particular animation is rather short. I'm going to extend it by using the timeline. Make sure that the loop button is selected, then click and drag your track to create multiple copies that will join together. Now the animation will repeat itself a few times. In the face section, there are many preset facial animations. You can combine these with your body animations by setting back the timeline and applying the facial animations at the same time your motion animations are starting. The perform motions combine both facial and body animation together, as you can see here. Facial puppeteering is particularly useful for more face characters, such as those supported by Crazy Talk 6. There are a variety of different preset emotions that you can use to manipulate your character's face. On the right side, you can select and deselect different facial sections to create a unique look. Simply press the space key to preview any of the preset templates. You can do the same thing with sprite-based characters as well, only sprite-based characters animate in a different way. Instead of morphing the image to simulate animation, sprite-based characters simply replace various sprites at different times to simulate emotion. Each sprite-based character includes a library of these images, and you can customize your own as well. You can layer voice recording or text-to-speech over your character's pre-recorded facial puppeteering. Here I'm typing in a text-to-speech dialog which will layer over the character's facial animation. The Motion Key Editor can be very useful for creating facial animations in more face characters. As you can see, there are a number of preset facial emotions included, but you can also customize your own. Click on the Modify tab and you can use the various sliders to create your own unique looks. If you move the time scrub ahead, then change your character's expression, Crazy Talk Animator will create keyframes and you will have a smooth transition from one expression to the other. Here we can create a yawning effect by moving the time scrub forward and adjusting the eyes and mouth of our character. Move the time scrub ahead one more time and return to the normal expression for a contented yawn. Sprite based characters are easy to animate by using sprite switching. Open up the sprite editor on the bottom left toolbar and you'll be able to access a library of replacement sprites for any part of your character. If I move the time scrub ahead, then replace a number of facial sprites, I can create a blinking action. I'll move the time scrub ahead one more time to give a warm smile. There you can see our character's nice blink and smile. The motion key editor is also great for body animation. If you open up the Motion Key Editor, you can select different areas of your character's body and manipulate them by clicking and dragging the mouse. The circles control rotation, while the center controls direction. There is also a body mode, in which individual body parts can be rotated, resized, and moved around. I'll use this to begin a motion for my character. Here, I've created a simple kicking motion in a couple of minutes. You can incorporate this motion easily into any animation. In the Body Puppeteering panel, you can also manipulate individual body parts. In the Basic Motion section, you can select individual body parts and move them by moving your mouse around the transparent motion indicator. If you select Slider Mode, your animation will repeat itself while you are free to adjust various details of the animation. There are also default motions, which incorporate the whole body. I can also select and isolate any area of the body to remain motionless while the rest of the animation plays. I can use the record function to record any puppeteering motion that I select. You can also combine body and facial puppeteering to create a more complete animation. Here I have a character dancing for joy, although his face doesn't really seem that happy. If I move back to time scrub, then switch to facial puppeteering mode, I can fix that. 
I'll use a goofy grin to layer over this animation. Just a quick recording, and voila! You now have a much happier dancing guy. As you can see, those animations that I did ended up in the facial clip and motion tracks of the timeline. So is there a way to combine these motions into your very own perform animation? There sure is. Simply open up the collect clip track of your timeline. Use your mouse to drag and select a certain area which you wish to copy. Then right click on the collect clip track and select export perform. Find your custom perform folder and copy the action there. Now I can import in another character and apply that perform action once again for the same body and facial expressions. One final thing. There's an easy way to access animations by right clicking on your character and selecting the action menu. You can easily add new commands to this menu by selecting crazy talk motion files from your computer. The next time you right click on your character, you'll have the option to choose the motion file you've just selected. That's the basic tutorial on Puppet Animation. The ability to use the preset motions included with Crazy Talk Animator, as well as layer, add and customize your own, gives you the freedom you need to create excellent animations.